Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Andy Elliott. The video I'm gonna be talking about today is how I went from broke with nothing all the way to becoming a millionaire at 25 selling cars, all right? So this is gonna be a story. If you're in the automotive industry or if you want to get in, I don't care if you've been doing it for 30 years, for three days, or you're thinking about quitting your job right now and getting in, I'm gonna tell you how to do it and become extremely successful and to tell you it doesn't matter where you came from. So talking about where I came from, I'd like to set the stage real quick just to tell you a little bit about myself. And then number two, I'm going to tell you how I did it. All right. So number one, obviously my mom left when I was two years old. Okay. She's an alcoholic straight up two years old, splits out the house and rolls. So it's me and my five brothers and sisters. Okay. So we got six kids in a house. I got my dad and my dad's working 12 hours a day. Now, as I say this to you, a lot of people, they like to put titles on people that are doing extraordinary things like, Hey man, that guy must have been given a silver spoon. His dad must've owned a dealership. He must've got fed. Oh, Oh my gosh, man, none of that ever happened in my life. And matter of fact, as a kid, we were thought to think very small, okay? My dad was always busy working, and then when he did get home, he was busy chasing my sisters and making sure that they didn't end up getting pregnant, literally chasing guys out of the house constantly with the shotgun. It's pretty crazy. And then me and my brothers, at about second grade, we didn't have any curfew. Doesn't sound like a person you want your kids to hang out with, right? That was me, all right? Now, it wasn't because that was my choice. I wanted to do great. You know, I wanted to have a mom when I was younger. By the way, it's in the victim story, but I wanted to have those things. I wanted to have money on the weekend to go do things with my friends, but I didn't. So what happened is, as we got older, we didn't make great grades. And all the way up into my senior year, May 3rd, 1999, there was a big tornado that came through Oklahoma. It smoked our high school, flattened it. Well, guess what? When that happened, I got to pass and walk and graduate as long as I had passing grades. Well, I had straight Ds and literally I was going in to my semester test, which means I would have flunked it had I taken the test. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I want you to know I'm as real as they get, okay? A lot of people like, you know, that are like doing great, you know, they went to college, they're killing it, they're doing great, they had great parents. Man, that, that's just not my story, okay? So I always believe that people that come from nothing can end up with the most. And by the way, if you had a great parents, uh, that's amazing. Right now I'm married, I'm 40 years old as of this current video, and I have three kids and an amazing wife. So with that being said, guess what? My kids are gonna be raised amazing, right? I may even spoil them a little bit too much, but it's just because I don't want him to go through that, I say crap sandwich that I had to go through. So as I sit here today and we're thinking, all right, I get into the automotive industry at 18, come from nothing. I want to tell you, I don't look back into my past anymore and think about who I was, how I labeled myself, how other people labeled me. I was the least likely to make it, I guarantee you, from my teachers in school. But here's the cool thing. I took all my haters, all right, and I have like a mental Rolodex in my head of all these people that said that I couldn't make it. And I just needed to find a way out, a way that I could actually make some money. And if I made money, make good decisions with that money, start to accumulate wealth, and then figure out how to make generational wealth, change the family tree. And I had to do it without having a great education. So you know what? I said, all right, what am I good at? Well, I was good at street smarts, okay? Not book smarts, not IQ, but EQ. I was good at reading people, okay? And everybody can be great at reading people. In the car business, one of the most beautiful things that I've learned is 95% of the car business is people knowledge, okay? The other 5% is product knowledge. So when I entered it, what I found is that 95% of the people that were selling cars were all about product knowledge. And then 5% people knowledge. So they're going around knowing everything about their product, but they didn't know how to really, you know, make a best friend with somebody, which is why I'm so powerful in our meet and greet videos have over two, 300,000 views on them because people are learning how to go out and make a best friend with somebody fast. And that was something that I picked up on and I teach it. So what happened? And I was like, all right, here we go. I'm going to sell cars. My very first day on the lot, I remember the way that everybody looked at me like, Hey, that guy ain't going to make it, man. I was literally wearing hand me down clothes. Didn't look sharp. I'm 18 years old. I got bleach blonde on hair, didn't fit in. You know what? Screw that guy. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you what saved my life. Okay. Two things. And then I'm going to go into how I really started building and scaling extremely fast and then crushing everybody in my way. And by the way, you can do the same thing. Hey guys, it's Andy. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please like and subscribe below. 
Also, click on the link below, join me in a free strategy session. I'd love to help you set up a game plan to crush it. Let's get back to the video. So, I remember about my third month in, it was me and my best friend, okay? And we're outside, we had just got out of sales training, doing the meet and greet, handshake, stuff like that, okay? We were selling maybe 10 cars a month, the top guy was doing about 25 in the store. And I told my best friend about a Tom Hopkins seminar, and this is back 23 years ago. And I said, hey, there's this Tom Hopkins seminar that I wanna go to, and it's 1300 dollars okay by the way we're making 2500 a month after taxes in one month we barely cleared 1300 bucks I said hey man my best friend I want to go to this seminar and he's like dude that's stupid man how much is it first thing he asked how much is it I said 1300 bucks he said no way it's not a chance man look these other sales guys how they learned is by time and experience we just need to work more hours we need to make sure that we're not taking our days off and we just need to work open the gates in the morning and shut them at night and I said oh man there's got to be a better way and I'm okay Okay for doing that. I was the hardest worker in the store, but there had to be a better way. So what I did is that I went ahead and I asked my dad if he would put it on a credit card for me, the difference I couldn't come up with in cash. And after three days of convincing my dad, he did. And I went to this Tom Hopkins seminar and I came back and I made 10 grand my first month. And by the way, I remember this, okay? That I'm standing in a room, there's about 500 people around and there was a question asked. He said, hey, listen, if you want to make a lot of money, raise your hand and everybody's like boom hands up right so was mine and then he said hey if you're proud to be a car salesman stand up and I remember jumping out of my seat like boom you know like hey man you know here I am I'm ready to roll and I looked around and no one else was standing up and at that point I remember him looking over and he pointed to me and a couple other guys and said hey you guys are gonna do really really well the reason why the rest of you won't and these guys will probably beat you is because you want to be there for the money but you don't want to win the game you don't want to stay in the game selling cars isn't a job it isn't even a career it's a life and he said you're gonna find yourself working more hours in the car business than anything else but it's not work it's your life because it's what you're gonna do most during the day so if that's what you're going to be doing the most that is your life enjoy having the best life ever and go become great at life I thought man you know what all of a sudden I changed my lens I had a different perspective on the automotive industry and if you guys will see right now I'm training currently over 90,000 salespeople I'm in a hundred and I'm in 150 dealerships doing live training guys we're just getting warmed up in two years from now I guarantee we'll be training a million salespeople you know why because the passion that I have today for teaching and training in the automotive industry is insane and no one really carries that passion they want to make money there's a lot of trainers that want to make money but they don't want to help you make money that this isn't their life and they're not in it because they love it so they're not passionate about it well so I want to tell you rule number one take this from me be passionate understand that you're gonna do this more than anything else that you're gonna do in your life so be extremely extremely passionate now let me go into step two what happened I'm sitting there I'm fired up now I'm making about 10 grand a month I, I figured out how to average that okay I was doing training every day I was great at the process deadly at the process I was a great sales guy I really was and I was on my way to becoming the number one sales guy in the store but I was a horrible closer I sucked at closing like it was my worst thing ever so what happened is at lunchtime on a Saturday this is six months later Grant Cardone this is 20 years ago this is Grant Cardone 20 years ago was a great closer in the automotive space he wasn't man guys he had not been in the automotive space in, in 15 years this stuff's so outdated now I still love the guy he's a great speaker I love who he is I just went to the 10x growth conference last year but I want to tell you something all right in the automotive space somebody that could teach closes now like I teach to automotive people Grant was that guy 20 years ago and guess what I I was sitting there and I remember seeing him in a conference room and he said hey man for a thousand bucks you can come to this seminar where I teach you how to close deals I'm like what he's like yeah man the customer says this he tells you what to say and you can close it I'm like I have to go to that because my managers weren't teaching me how to close deals what happened is I would go in I'd have a customer I would say hey man you know like this guy will do this I would get a commitment and then my managers would lower the price or lower the payment and then when I got my little pink slips I wouldn't make any more money I couldn't figure out how to scale past 10 grand and by the way 10 grand I thought I was rich but I had this new mindset and I wanted to go bigger they taught me to think small and here I am trying to climb a bigger mountain so I spent another thousand on myself and I went to Grant's training 
meeting. All of a sudden, when I came back, my very next month, I made $20,000. Guys, I want you to listen to this. I went from broken nothing to figuring out how to make a buck 20 a year to all of a sudden, six months later, to figure out how to make 250 a year. I want you to understand this. By the time I was 20 years old, I had invested probably a total of maybe eight or $9,000 into training already. I was trying to figure out and find out anybody and everything who was in my space, anybody who had been there and been successful, I wanted to know what they knew. I wanted to know all of it. I had this envision of myself and it was laser focused, like crystal clear, who I wanted to be. And I wanted to be the first millionaire in my family. And I didn't have it yet. And I was managing my money well and I saved everything and I still live broke because I learned something. I want you to remember this for the rest of your life. If you go to sleep on a win, you'll wake up with a loss. Okay. Once you climb one mountain, you have to come down off that mountain. Then you have to go climb a bigger one. And that's how I went from broke to millionaire. What happened is I decided that I needed to build my own prospecting system. I decided that I wanted to be the best on the phone and be deadly. Our store, the best closers were closing around 30%, 35%. I knew I needed to close around 70 to 80%. Most told me it was impossible. That's why they were counted out. Because anytime you say something's impossible, it's not going to happen. I believe by the law of attraction, right? That's the way things work. I knew I was going to close at 70 to 80%. So I did. And what happened is I took this guy that wanted to sell 25 cars a month and I ended up scaling myself up to selling 70 cars a month. I want to share this with you. As you're sitting there today, you're probably where I was. 10, maybe 20, maybe 30, or even maybe you're selling 50. I don't care how many you're selling. What I care about is this. I believe when I go to work, I trade my time for money. I'm passionate and I love what I do, but I trade my time for money and I believe that it's possible to trade my time for three times as much money. And I want to teach you how to do it. But what I had to do is build a prospecting tool. I knew more customers would mean more sales. But I also knew when I got more customers, I had to close at 70 to 80%, not close at 30%. So my selling skills had to be extremely great. I got so good at blocking and tackling and overcoming objections. Every single day with all of my people, I played a game called Stump Andy, okay? Now you're thinking, what does that mean? Well, that means that I would literally get there in a circle and I I wanted to make myself as uncomfortable as possible. And I really challenge you to do this because everything that you want in life is going to be right on the other side of being uncomfortable. And I used to get in the middle and say, all right, guys, hit me with any objection. Ready? Go. Price too high. Payments too high. Get on a whiteboard. Anybody would say things like, hey, I got three more cars to look at. You know, my wife ain't with me. You know, my dog's in the car. You know, it's getting hot. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care. Like, you could throw anything at me and I would overcome it on the spot. And if I couldn't, I wouldn't get embarrassed to be like, all right, I'm not playing that anymore. I'd be like, all right, cool, man. You got me. You got me. All right, let me replay this in my head. And I would go back to why I messed up on that. I would practice it. And then I would literally say it over and over again. And I would write it down over and over again until I got it. And I'd go back and go back and go back and go back. And then boom, all of a sudden that objection wasn't an issue again. And then when I was out on the lot, any lot objection I got, I could close. And I got to where I was closing behind all the managers. I was closing behind the GMs and they begged me to go into management, but I said, not a chance. By the time I was 25 years old, okay. I made my first 500 grand selling cars and I had a million in the bank. I want you to think about this, okay? I don't care how old you are. If you're 50 years old, if you're 18 years old, if you're 70, it doesn't matter. All I care about is this. I can teach you how to turn decades in today's. And that right there was what I was about. I was digging and climbing and crawling and scratching for every bit of information that I could that would teach me how to close better, have better phone skills, be a master communicator, make it hard to say no to and make it easy to say yes to. And my goal was, was to always make it the customer's idea, even though that it was mine. I wanted to sell like a lion, but act like a lamb. The better I got, I noticed that I held the spotlight, but I made my customers in the spotlight feel like that they were significant and important as I guided them through the process. And they went exactly where I wanted them to go every single time. As I watched other salespeople get good, they would pencil whip customers and the customers would blow out on them. As they got better, they would act like a lion and try to show their customers how great they were. And then what happened is the customers would leave because they smelled arrogance and cockiness. But mine was only confidence. I created a selling style that was unlike anyone else in the dealership. Then I realized I didn't want to
to become the top salesman in the dealership anymore. I want to become the top salesman in the state and then the top salesperson in the country. And not by units sold. Because I know there's a lot of guys out there that are like, I sell over 100 cars a month. I never wanted to sell that many. That wasn't my deal. I wanted to sell 60 to 70 and I wanted to try to make 50 to $60,000 a month. My record month selling cars was $715,000. And I'm going to tell you this. If you're out there right now and you decide that you have more in you, ask yourself this question. Every person should. Do you believe, you answer it, that you have the potential to make more money? Yes or no? It's real easy. Answer it to yourself. Because that was a question that I asked myself every single day. Hashtag no finish lines. No limit on a human. Since I thought that way, do you know what happened? There was nothing that held me back or held me down. And when people said I couldn't, I would go and prove that I could, but I didn't have anything to prove to them. I did it myself. And whenever I would accomplish something, everybody would ask how I did it. And guess what? I would just say, hey man, you know exactly how I did it. Hey, how'd you make 715 grand a year selling cars? I would say, do you really want to know? Or are you just asking? Because a lot of people will ask how you did it, but the problem is they're not going to do anything. They're not going to take action and they're not going to own their own mind. You see, in this business, you guys are the best. And by the way, I'll say this in the automotive industry, you're the best business in the world. And all that any man or woman could ask for is just an opportunity. You guys have the opportunity to make millions. And how do you do it? You do it by making your first hundred grand and then your second and then your third. But I want to tell you this. Most salespeople know how to get to a buck 20, but they don't know how to scale past that. And that's where when you need someone to help you and to kind of, you know, maybe show you the next step. I did it by training. That's what worked for me. I realized that training was an investment and I was the investment. So I believe that right now, wherever you are, whether you're in the business, whether you're a couple months in, a couple days in, or you've been doing this for 25 years or 30 years, recreate yourself. I challenge you today, totally recreate yourself and think bigger. Pour your cup out empty it. I want you to come down off that mountain and I want you to go climb the biggest mountain you've ever seen in your life. And I want you to get uncomfortable. And if you need help, I'm going to give you my cell phone number. You're welcome to reach out to me. 918-210-0254. You can text me right now. 918-210-0254. That is my direct cell phone. I carry it in my pocket. I will help you. Why? Because I got help when I was younger and thank God I did. Because had I not gone to those two seminars, there's a pretty good chance today that you wouldn't be sitting here with me and we wouldn't be watching this video. And there's a pretty good chance that my family wouldn't have the life that they have today. So with that being said, maybe I could be that person to help you change your life. Guys, this is how I went from broke to millionaire. Have a blessed day. Take action. And I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Obviously, you're the determined ones and you guys crush it. You're the one percenters. I just want to tell you, number one, I appreciate you. And anything you need, reach out to me. If you're struggling with anything, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always answer all my own comments. I'll reach out and help you. Also, don't forget to set up a strategy call with me. It's free. It takes 20 minutes. You can click the link below too and you can join me. I'd love to help you make a game plan to crush it. Hope you guys have a great day.